you know, it's a receiver like sight in the back, a post in the front. Well, why don't, you know, this is something that after you, sh if you shoot rifleman early, you can bring this out and shoot this. John? Yes. Your first line command, it's, is shooters, your X minute preparation period has begun. After that, we'll say unload and clear. The unload and clear is where you make your rifle safe, according to the safe rifle. You can prepare mags at any time. And in fact, you're going to have to, as soon as you finish shooting, when we're doing running the AQT machine, you're going to have to immediately get up and start preparing mags for the next round. So whenever you want to cross this line, think, did I hear? Shooters, you may proceed downrange. Any questions? <clears throat> These head-shaped things are called silhouettes. Uh, they are to mimic uh, a, uh, a soldier uh, on the ridge of a hill in prone position, where his, just his shoulders and head would, would come up. We're going to put three rounds in each of the silhouettes. One at, these are sized to uh, simulate the different ranges. The large one is the 100-yard target. Then we have a 200-yard target, a 300-yard target, and a 400-yard target. We're going to put three rounds in each of those. And then we'll have one round left over, and that's the pumpkin shot. And this, this is sized to uh, be representative of uh, what a Kentucky rifle could do in 1775. There weren't many of them, but there were some, and they could hit an officer at 250 yards. Uh, and um, so that's a total of 13 rams. One for each of the 13 colonies. Okay? And it will be shot in prone. We're not going to give you any instruction for this first evaluation target. You, you, this is you, you shooting with what you know and what you've got. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, put your targets in the center. We don't want you to shoot their good... And stuff. Oh. So shooters, your preparation period begins now. So you may go to your rifles, you may sling up, okay. dry fire. Dry firing is good because you don't need to waste any ammo and you get almost everything out of it. <laughs> See there's a bottom part? So I have to pull back back That's to lock it back. See the top yeah. part up here? Yeah. Shooters, your preparation period has ended with 13 rounds. Load! <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm okay. just... Okay. All right, let's sit right here and practice. Okay. okay? You're not even going to fire the gun this time, all right? That's fine. Okay. I, want I don't you... care. I want you to pull this back. Yep. When you're pulling this Ends back, the line ready. you're pulling this back as well. Ready on the right? The bottom, like that. Now let go. Ready on the left? There you go. Just like that. What are you calling the Already on the firing okay. line. I gotta do this so I can see. Fire! Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so. See this piece of metal right here? I wanna start this over. Two shots in each target. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Shot. Yeah, I know. Okay, so now let's. You can start preparing mags. There's five mags in there. This is, this is the same cartridge as. The um, Walmart ball. It's actually a different lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you Thank go. Thank you. You may proceed down range, switch your targets, and bring your red coats back to me and center up. So, how many have all three shots in the 100 yard target? That's two. We're going to start on the upper left. We're going to work our way around. Actually, we're going to start in the center. Excuse me. This is the hasty hasty. Now, and if you turn around and face me, you can see how the hasty hasty basically just comes around his arm 
it's not wrapped around it. It's not up in this area here. It's just, it's, it's just like that. And that's what we call the hasty, hasty sling. Your support hand is, is relaxed and supporting this, what we call on the lifeline. Your support elbow should be directly under the rifle. If you start to see the same thing, same vector, that's a sign that you've got your fundamentals and you can start doing a sight adjustment. There's six steps to firing the shot. I'll read them off to you and then we'll go back over them. The first is sight alignment. This equals cheek weld. And six is follow through. We're dry firing. Okay, we want you to rack your bolts. And we want you to actually pull the trigger each time. Now I want you to close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax into your sling. Open your eyes. Are you on it? Nope. nope. <laughs> now, remember when I said if you once you get your MPOA, what do you do? Keep it. You trust your MPOA and you fire the whole clip. One breath per shot. Well, that's what we're going to do now. That one breath per shot is called the rifleman's cadence. Fire. Remember to keep it up. Okay. Up here. Oh yeah. What you want. You want oh, your yeah. right. You want the butt of your rifle up higher than you had before. That's gonna make a difference. Is the line ready? Ready on the right. Back hard. And let go. Ready on the left. All ready on the firing line. But before we get to April 19th, we have to understand that what had happened before. Because the colonists had been having trouble with the British for 10 years. At this point, at, by the time of April 19th, 1775, the Boston Massacre had already happened. The, the, uh, Boston Tea Party had happened, the Stamp Act had happened, uh, and three powder alarms had happened. So the first powder alarm was a complete success. The second powder alarm, guess where that was going to be? Portsmouth. It wasn't called New Hampshire there, but it was Portsmouth. And, um, but Paul Revere, and Dr. Press, Dr. Warren uh, got wind of it, and Paul Revere was up there about three or four days ahead of time, warning the uh, the people in Portsmouth that the British were going to intend to take their powder and ball, which was located out at, at Fort William and Mary. Um, and. Uh, it had already been confiscated, but it was only being guarded by five uh, British regulars. So the townspeople got together uh, with uh, some morning, and they uh, rowed out to the island. It was an island at that point. There was a road connecting it. And so 40 or 50 colonists showed up and uh, all around the fort and the British guys knew they were in trouble but they couldn't surrender or they'd get in trouble so they fired an obligatory shot over the heads of the colonists the colonists fired back and the British threw out the keys 
So we got all the powder and ball in the Portsmouth fort. And that was the powder and ball that helped us win, win Bunker Hill. So where was the first shot fired to start the Revolutionary War? Right here in New Hampshire. Well, but we're going to be talking all about Lexington and Concord and Massachusetts, but we all know that it really started here. Bluster and bluff. Full regiments. So there are, they're all marching up to Charlestown, and, and, and one of the Sons of Liberty is riding out of town. This is called the AQT. And we're going to shoot this single stage. The rest of the country only shoots single stage. In, from New England, uh, we shoot both, the rapid fire and the single stage. But this breaks down your transition, so we're going to do this first. And then after we do this, you'll be able to transition on your own and do 40 rounds in four minutes and do it all at once. But first, we're going to break it up and just do one at a time to get a handle. Okay? So prep 10 rounds. And shooters, your preparation period begins now. Missile line ready. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. All ready on the firing line. Fire! All ready on the firing line. Fire! Shooters, your preparation period has ended. Oh, it has. <laughs> that damn camera's doing it, man, I'm telling you. Okay, shooters. Your preparation period has ended. With safeties on, stand. Now notice what Glenn is doing here. He knows that if he goes forward on his mat from right where he is, bam, 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 he's in the right spot. One shot per breath. It's not a race. You can't miss fast enough. We're going to start standing. You're going to fire 10 rounds with one mag here. You're going to go mag out, safety on, Transition on your own to sitting. Insert your mag, fire five and five. Mag out, safety on. Transition to prone. Mag in, safety off. Three, three, and four. You don't need to transition here, mag out. Two, two, three, three. You got four minutes. There's four stages, roughly one minute per stage. However, this one counts double. Okay, there's three requirements here. Mag out, rack the bolt, safety on, transition. Okay? Already on the firing line. Fire! Got plenty of time. So, how do you so, oh, these are threes here. So that's. Um, I mean, I did practically. Oh, the six. Yeah. Uh, and this is. I should write that. Six. 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 Seven. Plus seventy-four. Mm. Or just add. One ninety-one. There you go. That's about right. Yeah. So the. Uh, Concord militia, like all militias, divided up into three basic groups. Uh, you have your uh, young bucks who train heavily twice a week uh, and is exemplified by the active militia, 
uh, under the command of um, Isaac Davis, who was a gunsmith, and this, and he saw to it that his militia was fully outfitted, uniforms, cartridge boxes, which were a big thing, so you could prepare all your cartridges and have them all ready just to drop in and go. <clears throat> and um, they even had fife and drum. They trained not only in marksmanship, but also in drilling and marching and the music. Uh, their goal was to train to the full British specification. Uh, and we would call those type the Minutemen. They were well trained, they were young, they were they kept they went they went to plow their farms with their muskets. They didn't have to go home to get their musket. Their idea was to be able to grab the musket and go. Then there was the general militia, which were the middle aged folks, and then there were the older folks who were called the alarm list, and these pe were the uh, older folks who were considered not able to f to fully fight. And then, but they were going to help. They were going to be riders and spread the word. And that's those are the people who were involved there. And then, as we'll hear tomorrow, there's an even older crowd, who and we have a special story for them, dangerous old folks. And these are guys are up in their 70s and 80s, right? In 1975, that was that was living to an enormously old age. The average uh, life expectancy back then, I think, was around 35 to 40. If you take our advice, you will be a better shooter. I can virtually guarantee it. Rule number one, always keep the muzzle in a safe direction. Rule number two, do not load until given the load command. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until the sights are on the target. Rule number four, make sure those around you follow the safety rules. Uh, the first thing is magazine out. Uh, the second is bolt back and locked with exceptions. Third is safety on. Fourth is chamber flag in. Fifth is rifle grounded. And sixth is no one touching the rifle. Evaluation target. We shoot at this target once in the morning and then as our last target in the evening when we're done. And you, know, and you, you get to see no matter how frustrated you get, you're going to show some improvement here. Okay? Three, three. Okay. I'm not sure. I think okay. I, I was having trouble with think, the 300 yard one. Okay, I think this is where I started seeing some of your happy yeah. finger. Yeah, okay. No, but remember respiratory pause? Yeah. What's the last word there? Pause. Pause. Don't forget to pause. Breathe in, breathe mm -hmm. out, relax. Pause. Squeeze the trigger. Okay? This is classic focus on the front sight. What does that mean? Well, see how they're all centered on the target? Mm-hmm. Um, but you're wiggling. You're not really getting your MP. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's really uncomfortable. You're right. Okay. It's just so bones. But your body will complain at first because we're asking it to do an unnatural thing. Yeah. And you just have to flow with it and do the repetitions eventually your body you're gonna you're gonna slap your body and it's gonna go and fall into line 
So now what we're going to teach here is inches, minutes, and clicks. And this is a, it's a three-step conversion process to get you from inches on paper to clicks on your sighting device. Through the universal constant of, a, of what we call minutes of angle. So if you want to adjust your sights in terms of degrees, that's too large an adjustment. So we, design, we divide each degree into 60 minutes. Not 60 minutes on a clock, but 60 minutes of angle. M-O-A. So now, and we're, we're only shooting for 4 M-O-A. That's what Appleseed does. So, now there, if you come away with only two things in your memory, these are what you need to come away with in this discussion. First is one MOA is one inch per hundred yards. So at a hundred yards, one MOA is one inch. At 200 yards, it's two inches. Four. Four. Four by four. That's all you need. If you can get all your shots in a, in a one inch square, you're shooting rifleman accuracy. That's all you need to do. Yeah. First of all, you need a tight group. Right. That's your goal at this point, just to get a group anywhere. Okay. You're not worried about where. Is this a group, these three? These three are a group. That's a really good improvement. And Rifleman Cadence helped you. Yeah. Didn't it? Because you didn't have time to move your cheek. Yeah, he was watching me. <laughs> <laughs> the big difference in standing is that the stock goes higher than it normally does. Where does it normally go? Put it down normally and bend over to it. Put it down normally and go like this. No, no, no. And then normally. And now put your head down on the stock. You don't want to shoot like that. That's wrong. See, you want to bring it up and shoot erect. Not bend over. Okay? That's the big difference. Then um, the other thing is chicken wing. You're, you're moving. You have you, your elbow out and it creates a pocket that you can put this on top of and most of these rifles look at the point that he has to stick into his mm, it's no fun nasty. why the manufacturers build these stop building them this way we want nice smooth butts here okay <laughs> is the line ready ready on the right ready on the left Already on the firing line. Fire! We're going to be going over what we call uh, dangerous old men and women. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start off the story with a gentleman whose name is Samuel Whittemore. He was uh, 78 years old, badly crippled. And he was a veteran and a strong wig. He was pretty, uh, pretty determined. Uh, we're going to talk about Hezekiah Wyman. He was a, uh, matter of fact, April 19th was his actual birthday. Uh, he was, uh, lived in the town of Woburn, which is now the, actually the town of Winchester. He was uh, too late for the fighting at Lexington, and his wife told him that he was far too old to go out and start fighting the regulars. But uh, like any good American male, uh, at least he uh, didn't listen to his wife, and he saddled up his white mare, uh, grabbed his musket, and went out to uh, meet the regulars. What he would do is he would ride past the regulars' columns, Set up, he would actually be out in the open. He would he would set up, put his musket across the saddle of his horse, fire around, an officer would die 
in a British column, and he would ride off. Uh, his appearance was described as being rather gaunt and having flowing gray hair. Well, this happened on quite a number of occasions. Uh, it got to the point that whenever he appeared and fired, a, a British soldier would fall and die. He was that good of a shot. And uh, that's when the British regulars were going to say that they would see him appear, and they knew that one of them was going to fall, and that's what would happen. Now, that's where the thing where death on a pale horse comes from. Uh, just as an interesting note, he did survive, and so did the horse. They both survived the war. Mm -hmm. They, six of these grenadiers actually surrendered to Mother Catherine, and she in turn turned them over to the local militia captain, who basically you know, took them prisoner. And she said to her, to, to the grenadiers, when you get back, you tell King George that an old woman took six of his grenadiers. Well, word of this did get back to England. And the opponents of King George's policies would always come up with the question of, if an old Yankee woman can take six of the king's grenadiers, how many, how, how big will the army have to be to retake the colonies? Even though you get five minutes, we remind you that a, a rifleman fires every shot in rapid fire, in the rifleman's cadence. One shot per breath. Okay, even if it's only two shots in a row. Okay, so that means you take three shots for each of these. Because you have to change your MPOA and get it again. So you need to change your MPOA for every target and for every mag change. That means cha if you change your MPOA, you have to test for your MPOA. Get your MPOA, relax. <sighs> Close your eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax. Open your eyes. Are you on it? Not move your hips, get on it, and then test it again. Okay. Is the line ready? All ready on the firing line? Three shots in rifleman's cadence. Okay, Tight group. we're real close. Yeah. With 40 rounds, load. Eyes and ears, good thinking. Is the line ready? Ready on the left. Ready on the right. All ready on the firing line. Check your MPOA.
Start over at the other end. again. Oh, since I greased it, they're having trouble coming out. Three or four shots. Right yes, I saw you in perfect, and you were getting your extra breath in, in on the rifleman cadence, that I, in the first one. Yeah. And you were doing that. That was great. Okay. It's just more practice. Yeah. Target shows it. So how many got the hundred? Two. How many got the three hundred? Two hundred. Two. How many got the three hundred? I had one on the three hundred. One. How many got the four hundred? I can't believe this. One. I'm going to frame this. Two on the four hundred. And, and oh. one on the headshot. Keep your hand and up. one clean. Ah. Never. Would have ever bet a dollar that I could do that. Yep. With 40 rounds, load. Get the line ready. Ready on the right. 